Today, leaders at Southeastern Louisiana University are sending condolences and providing resources on campus just one day after a student died. WDSU reporter Courtney Williams live in Hammond with how other students are reacting to this devastating news. Courtney. Well, Travers, I spoke to a few students here on campus and many of them tell me the news of losing a student took them by surprise. Now, if you take a look at the video here on your screen, you'll be able to see classes went on as usual. But Wednesday afternoon, the university issued an alert about an active incident in the school's biology building. Now, in a later message to the university community, the school said the building would remain closed for the remainder of the day. The university didn't release any details about the student's death. However, students on campus tell me they believe the person died by suicide. Therapists tell me suicides among children and young adults peak at the beginning of exam season and rates have increased over the years. They say it's important to tell children that it's not the end of the world if you fail. The school posted a statement on its social media platforms both Wednesday and today addressing the student's death and alerting students and others in the university community to the availability of counseling on campus. I spoke to a few students at Southeastern, many who were on campus when the incident took place. They tell me school can be very stressful at times, but this caught many of them by surprise. It's tragic to always hear about like a student passing away and the way like it happened, it was most likely due to like stress over finals and stuff. So I mean it's something that could have been avoided, but it's it's sad to hear. It was definitely a shock. You don't expect something like that to just happen. I mean, prayers up for his family and anyone who knew him. Now, school officials tell me the student's identity hasn't yet been released and the family is asking for privacy at this time. For now, reporting live in Hammond, Courtney Williams, WDSU News.